So the other day, I I got a uh, a text message from a dear friend asking about colleges for her daughter. And she was wondering, you know, she was asking me different questions about which college is best for her daughter. And so I gave her a little bit of feedback and I said, you know what? Let me put this into a video because I know other people are looking to make the right decision uh, for college. So in this video, I wanna share with you how to choose the perfect college for you. Actually, I'm gonna show you 7.25. You know, I'm the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers, and I'm gonna show you 7.25 things to consider when choosing the perfect college for you or your student. Welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Yes, welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Of course, I'm Cantus Simmons. Thank you so much for tuning in. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, this podcast, listen, click the links down below somewhere on the screen to make sure you subscribe, to make sure you are notified when we have some good, good, good old content coming up just for you. Now, in this video, I want to talk about how to choose uh, the perfect college for you, how to choose the perfect college for you. And just because you're here, I know many people who are looking for college are also looking for finances for college. And if uh, you want to participate, I got two things for you. Number one, I'm going to give you a copy of, let me see if I can locate it here. That's not the one, but I'll give you a copy of my best selling book, Scholarship Secrets Revealed. And uh, you see the link here, scholarshipsecretsbook.com, scholarshipsecretsbook.com to get a free copy of my book. I'll just send that over to you and your household. Just let me know where to ship it and take care of the small shipping and handling fee. Also, uh, in a few days here, I'm going to have an, an ongoing workshop called Getting College Cash. Yes, showing you how to fund the big college tuition bill. If you go to kentasimmons.com forward slash workshop, all right, kentasimmons.com forward slash workshop. Uh, if you click the link down below in the description somewhere, you will see the link for this upcoming workshop on how to pay the big college tuition bill. And I wanted to go ahead and give you those two resources because as we jump into this content today, it's very important that not only are you getting into the, the best school for you or the, the right school for you, but you also have... Uh, the money to pay for it. All right. So let's talk about choosing the right college. Let's talk about picking the right college. Let's talk about, you know, what can we look for when finding the perfect college for us? Now, let me just say this. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, actually the east side of Atlanta, Decatur, Georgia. And I never, ever heard of a Norfolk State University. And that's the school I ended up going to, right? Uh, from Atlanta, I wanted to go to Florida a and University and participate in the marching band and go down to Tallahassee and, you know, become a rattler. Like, that was my dream school. Like, that was the only school I was focused on. But as I started doing research, uh, when things happen and going through the process and I realized that Florida a and wasn't right for me, then I had to consider some other things. And these 7.25 things that I'm going to show you um, – these are the things that I want you to consider when choosing uh, the best college for you. Ready? All right, cool. Pull out your pen and your pad. Grab your cell phone, however you're watching this. Go ahead and take these notes. But let me give you 7.25 things to consider when choosing the perfect college for you. All right? So here's number one. Number one, you want to consider the academic programs. Yes, you want to consider the academic programs. Now you say, Kansas, what do you mean by the academic programs? Like so many times people look for colleges based off the college name alone. I'm recommending you to look for a college based off of the program that you want to go into. So I went to Norfolk State University, right? And they had an amazing science and materials program at the time. Guess what? And I wanted to go into the sciences. I wanted to go into chemistry, into materials. Guess what? 
So because they had a great program in science and chemistry, then I considered that school because of the academic program, right? For example, let's say you want to go to a business school. No, let's say you want to go into business, right? But the school that you're looking at is really good in engineering and science, but you want to go into business. So you want to adjust how you look for the perfect college by looking at the academic program, all right? So that's the first thing you want to consider, the academic program. Now, here's the second thing that you want to consider. You want to consider the reputation and the rankings of that college or university, right? So there are different reports on the internet, the different reports on in magazines. I know United States News, uh, they put a report out. But based on the performance on the school, based on the graduation rate, based on the amount of dollars that come into that university, you can see the reputation and the rankings of that college or university. So when you're searching for your college, not only look at the academic program, but what's the reputation of the school, right? What's the reputation of the program? Where do they rank amongst the other schools that you're looking at, right? There's a reason some schools are ranked number one. There's some schools that are ranked number 43. There's some school reasons they're ranked number three. There's some reasons they're ranked number uh, 79. And you want to make sure that as you're considering the programs in the schools, that it's a program that have a great reputation, a reputation of honesty, a reputation based around results, a reputation of getting people into the program and getting people out of the program. So that's something, the second thing that you want to consider is the reputation and the rankings of the universities and colleges that are right for you. All right. So as we continue here, the third thing you want to consider when looking for the perfect college, you want to consider the campus culture. Now, I had a dear friend of mine some years ago, their family, and uh, there was my mentorship program, and their daughter wanted to go to this college, I think up in, I'm not going to even say the state, right? And uh, they went to this college, beautiful campus. But guess what? When the sun goes down, the campus looks like a ghost town. Yeah, in the evening, when the, when the sun goes down, the teachers leave, a lot of the students may leave, and everything was dark and, and doomy, and the campus culture was like, ah. It's like you had to be in the house before the streetlights came on, right? Now, here's what I want you to think about. When you're searching for the right college or when you're considering the perfect college for you, how's the campus culture? Meaning, during the daytime, how does it feel, right? Is it a culture where people are promoting excellence? Is there a culture where there's a social life? Like, are there activities and things that maybe you're interested in? Maybe if you're interested in, in sports, maybe they have an intramural sports program or what's the campus culture like in, in the other activities? Maybe you're interested in going into a sorority or fraternity. How are the sororities and fraternities on campus? But not only that, when campus culture comes to play, like how is the culture around, uh, we're gonna talk about diversity and inclusion here in a minute, but uh, I know my dear friends, they went to a certain school and at this time of year, they had the big Me Too movement going on where there was a culture of abuse, verbal abuse and even some physical abuse towards the female students. So I ask you, how do you consider the campus culture? Now, by the best way you can, can consider the campus culture, number one, is by taking campus visits, by doing campus tours. Not only that, but also talking to the students, talking to people that have been there for the first year and talking to students that have been there for their fourth year because they're gonna give you a clear indication of what really goes on on campus. So the third thing you wanna consider is campus culture, campus culture. The fourth thing that you wanna consider when choosing uh, the perfect college for you, can you pay for it? Yeah, can you pay for it? 
does the campus, does that university and college have financial aid and resources and scholarships to help you pay the big college tuition bill? Uh, that's why I write the book called, you know, Scholarships Secrets Revealed. Why? Because I understand the number one reason students don't go to college is because of a lack of money. The number two reason students, number one reason students drop out of college is because of a lack of money. So now when you're choosing the perfect college for you, you want to ask yourself, hmm, can we pay for it? Do they have support? And do they have access to scholarships and funds that will help you get through the process? You know, on average, schools are about 41000 per year. Average, right? So you got schools higher than that and schools lower than that. But when you're looking at that perfect college for you, can you pay for it? Do they have resources? Do they have opportunities now where you can uh, pay the big college tuition bill through, through work study, through scholarships, and some type of aid? All right? So the fourth thing you want to consider is the financial aid and scholarships. All right? Now, here's the fifth thing you want to consider. Career services. Now, what are consider career services? This is where... As you're matriculating through in the university, and let's say you want to go into chemistry, right? Because I was a chemistry major. Chemistry is always good. So let's say if you want to go in through chemistry, right? And chemistry will prepare you to be a, maybe you want to go into chemical engineering. Maybe you want to go into medicine. Maybe you want to go into health or some other type of medical field. Maybe you want to go into a biomedical field. Guess what? Career services help you find the jobs, help you position you for careers after college. Now, many people don't think about this, right? You're going to college to help you become the best version of yourself to prepare you for a future career. And great colleges and universities, they have a career services program. Some, uh, some of the schools call it a career transition program. And this is now where they're working with you and uh, giving you resources to internships, giving you resources to job opportunities, to show you the different opportunities you have around your degree to be able to go in to find a great job after college. So you want to consider career services when looking for the perfect college for you. Okay, let's go to the next one. I believe this is number six. Number six, uh, the sixth thing you want to consider when choosing the perfect college, alumni success. Yeah, alumni success. Take the time to find out, are there any success stories around uh, the students that went to the college and graduated from that college, right? Like when people go there, are they known for getting a job? When people go there, are they known for not only getting a job, but doing a great job in their field? Are there any, you know, famous people or successful people that attended that university? Now, how can you, you know, look at that? Number one, check out the alumni program, right? Now, here's the cool thing about alumni programs. Great alumni programs, they give money back into the university, right? I know every single year my my college and university, they're reaching out to me, the alumni program, about different events, about, about different opportunities. Um, they've reached out to me to pay that alumni, those alumni dues, right? Because all of those, that money and all of that support, it makes the university better. So when you're considering the perfect college for you, ask yourself, hey, are there any alumni services? I mean, alumni success stories are people coming into this university, they're graduating, and they're having a great life because they went to this university. That's number six. Number seven, number seven, campus facilities. Yes, campus facilities. When searching for the perfect college, you want to ask yourself, can I live here the next four to five years? Right? Right? Like, does the, I remember one time, <laughs> I uh, went on this vacation, and uh, I booked this hotel room to sort of get away, and it was a theme room, like a themed hotel room, like a, on this resort, and everything was wood, everything looked like it was 1920s, the furniture, the bed, had that old country feel, and you know what, as I sat in that hotel room, I was like, 
this don't feel good. This doesn't feel good. Had a nice little small TV. Had the the old bathtub, and I was like, this does just doesn't feel good to me. And so, guess what? I left that room. I went back over to the main hotel area where everything was plush, straight lines, white sheets. It made me feel better. And the same thing where you're concerned. Take campus visits because you want to see the facilities. You want to ask yourself, hey, hmm, how's the weather here? Hmm, how are the dormitories? How do the rooms look? Are there opportunities to participate in activities? How are, uh, is it clean? How is it commuting back and forth? If you're staying on campus, how far do you have to walk? How far do you have to drive? Is there a shuttle to help get me around? get me around the college university. You want to consider all of those things, the facilities, the dorm rooms, like are the dorm rooms small? Does the dorm rooms, um, they fit within a suite? Can you have suite mates? Like, can you visit other people, right? All these things you want to consider when considering the perfect college for you, and that's the campus facilities, okay? And the last thing, the 7.25 thing that you want to consider is diversity and inclusion. Now, I went to a historically black college, Norfolk State University in Norfolk, Virginia, an HBCU. But after leaving Norfolk State University, I went to a predominantly white institution for grad school called Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Now, here's what I discovered, right? So at an HBCU, it was predominantly black at the PWI, predominantly white institution. It was predominantly white. But what I also look for are the other ethnic groups on the campus. So while at Norfolk State University, it was predominantly black, they had international students. They had white students. They had students from Africa. They had students from all over the world. And even when I went to Lehigh University, the predominantly white school, they had a lot of international students that came into the university. But not only that, they had programs on the campus that celebrated the other cultures and the other ethnic groups. Why is this important? Because most of the time, what you see in like college or your university experience, sometimes it can mirror what you see in the real world. Yeah, you know, I've, when I worked at NASA, there were some great, great individuals there. When I worked at Supervision, there were some great, great individuals. And the beauty of life is that we need each other. This is why racism is not cool because everybody has a unique gift that we all offer the world. And if we're going to make the world a better place, listen, we got to work with different people. You don't want somebody who only thinks like you and move like you and talk like you and roll like you. No, you want to find people who uh, have different ways of approaching a problem. And because we have the same mission, we can now include each other. We can now celebrate each other's differences. So the 7.2 things that you want to consider is diversity and inclusion. Let me run back through those things. Number one, you want to consider the academic programs. Hey, don't just search a college because of the college itself, but search it out because of the academic program. Number two, what's the reputation? What do the rankings say about this university? Is it a good school? Hey, do your research. Number three, campus culture. Like, what's the campus like? What's going on in the campus? What's the culture around um, women and, and men? How are things feeling? Is there a hate on the campus? You want to find out that. Number four, can you pay for it? And do they have resources to help you pay it? All right? Financial aid and scholarships. Number five, yes, number five, career services. Do they have programs in place to help you be able to uh, transition out of the university. And then number seven, six, seven, number six, alumni services, alumni success stories. That's the, what I want to say. Alumni success stories have people come to this college or university and they've graduated. 
if they're doing good. Number seven, the campus facilities. Is it clean? Is it up to your liking? Does it fit around what you want to do? And then next is diversity and inclusion. Do you feel wanted? Do you feel supported? And do they accept other people? Now listen, hopefully this has helped you out when choosing the perfect college for you. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to take the time to go through this and use this as your checklist, right? Checklist as you're looking and going through the process of selecting the perfect college for you. Now, if you know anybody else who would enjoy this video, listen, hey, share this video, like this video, go and subscribe to this video. Uh, if you know some students at schools that need to hear this, hey, go ahead and share it with them. Also, if you want access to my best-selling college funding book, hey, down below, grab the resource scholarshipsecretsbook.com. If you also want to participate in my upcoming uh, college funding workshop, just go to kantasimmons.com forward slash workshop. Hey, I'm Kantis Simmons. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the Kantis Simmons Show. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.